If you really want to be get good at social awareness, you need to learn to read body language. What that means is you really need to concentrate on the body language that people are putting out. Now, be very careful with body language that you don't just read one thing and say it means something. The classic is what if somebody's folded their arms in a meeting? And classic people would say, hey, they're, they're holding something back. They are hiding. I remember having one of my um, students in an alcohol and drugs situation and we were talking about body language and he was sitting there like that and I said to him because I knew that one this doesn't always mean that I said to him so you look like you're folding your arms like that um, why do you do that this guy big muscles he said well it's the only way that's comfortable for him so you have to be very careful when reading body language that you don't take one thing and make it mean everything I would really encourage you to, to buy the book Body Language by Alan Peace. It's a great book. Or you can look up some of his YouTube videos and, and get some of his techniques from that as well. It's very good information. But basically a couple of principles about this. Learn to scan somebody from the top of their head to, the, to their body. So look through the body. The first thing you want to notice is somebody's eyes. What are their eyes saying? Where are they looking? Are they looking up? Are they looking down? Are their eyes all over the place? Are they concentrating on you? Just noticing what the eyes are doing, the, 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 the frowns around the eyes will convey whether they're engaged, whether they're interested, whether they're bored, whether they're distracted. And you learn a lot from the eyes. Look at the mouth. Um, we are very good at spotting a fake smile so even though somebody's smiling sometimes if you feel uneasy about that it could be that they're just pretending to smile so um, notice what the facial features around the jawline are saying um, look at the shoulders are they relaxed are they um, back are they up are they tight look at the body is it does it look stiff how are they sitting are they sitting with their arms are they holding tight are they relaxed? Do they have open body language? Their legs, uh, have they got uh, legs crossed? Are they open in their posture? Generally, the more open somebody else, if somebody is, the more relaxed they are, the more comfortable they are, the better that is normally. But just be aware that they might be doing something with their body just simply because it's comfortable. Um, try to notice um, if they are sitting in a funny way. It could be they're in pain and that could be helpful to know to be able to communicate and connect with them in some way. So what you're trying to do is just become aware of the person. Become aware of their voice. Become aware of their body, become aware of their presence and begin to learn some of the cues. So go have a look at Alan Pace's body language. You'll discover some things about what certain um, particularly groupings of body language mean. But many of us, once we concentrate on reading somebody's body language, are actually very good at picking up something. Um, I would say if you have a gut feeling about somebody, learn to read your gut feeling. If you're uncomfortable about it, something, generally that's because you're picking up some micro cue that isn't in harmony. So if they're smiling but it doesn't feel like it, it could be they're faking. Um, if they're telling you a story, it could be they're making things up and you just feel slightly uncomfortable about that. Follow the cue of your own body your own body language to recognize and read other people's body language um, one really practical thing with this is um, observe people's body language and then afterwards write down some notes about what you notice what you're learning and that just kind of brings it in to focus more um, learn to ask questions of people uh, it appears to me that you are angry um, Am I reading you right? So check in with people about their body language. And it looks like you're feeling a bit distracted at the moment because you've noticed their eyes are going all over the place. Just check in with them and they can say, oh, no, no, sorry, I was um, just had something I had to remember. And it brings them back into the conversation. So use what you're noticing in their body language, their eyes, their mouth, their shoulders, their body, their arms, their posture, 
feed that back to a person and get them to let you know whether you're reading it right or wrong. Really helpful in terms of reading body language. The more you do it, the better you'll get.